In 2001, the Atlanta Falcons, for years a franchise that lacked an identity, finally found one in the form of an electrifying quarterback from Virginia Tech. The Atlanta Falcons select Michael Vick. His talent and charisma were enough to make him a huge crossover star throughout the country, but in Atlanta, he was iconic. 45, 30. Go, Mike Vick! You have just seen Michael Jordan of the NFL. An African-American from the South was now the face of a franchise representing a city more than 60% black. This is my house, baby. It's mine as well, I'm in it. Ticket and merchandise sales soared as the Falcons, for years known for an apathetic fan base, became one of the NFL's marquee franchises. Last year, the good times ended in chaos. Dog fighting is a terrible thing. I'm totally responsible. And those things just didn't have to happen. Save the dog! Save the dog! Last year it was just miserable. My family had to go through it too, you know. And every guy in this locker room, their families had to deal with it. I mean, uh, you know, Michael contributed tremendously to the franchise in a positive way for a number of years. Obviously didn't end that way. And fans were committed for a variety of reasons to Michael. Owner Arthur Blank began what seemed like a long road back to rebuilding his franchise. Their all-in move came during the draft, when with the number three pick, the Falcons passed on the safe choice, LSU defensive tackle Glenn Dorsey, for the coin flip chance at a franchise quarterback. Ryan has a playing style the polar opposite of Vic, a pocket passer who played his college ball in New England. The Atlanta Falcons select Matt Ryan, quarterback, Boston well, early on, I was leaning a little bit towards Glenn Dorsey. I would have drafted Dorsey and then tried to move up and draft uh, Flacco. I said, if Michael Vick's ready to play, bring him right on back to Atlanta. Adding to the pressure of replacing a cult hero, Ryan signed the richest rookie contract in NFL history. Pay somebody $72 million and 34, which is guaranteed, that's a big commitment. It's really just about um, preparing and, and taking care of the things that you can control. All that extra stuff, you know, I don't concern myself with, and ultimately I think the winning will kind of take care of the rest of those things. The first time I seen Matt and uh, I talked to him, you know, I, I said, you ready to go? He just looked at me, he was like, I'm always ready to go. I'm always, I'm a winner. That's what I do. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this guy might be a good one. Ryan going to throw first professional pass. Caught Jenkins, 30, 15. He lives in Atlanta. His first professional pass. He come out, first NFL pass, he throws a touchdown. And then everybody's looking around saying we're going to be all right. You know, this guy's going to get it done. The beauty of Matt, of Matt Ryan is that he never view this. I have to step into somebody else's shoes. I got to wear my shoes. I got to do my job. Ryan sprinting left, throwing, caught, touchdown Atlanta. At 5-3, the Falcons have already surpassed last year's win total and any expectations for this year's team. I think after that, that second home game, you know, we got that win and they saw what this team could be about. I guess the fans thought, you know, we're not going to have to wait a few more years so we can get the dome rocking again. Matt Ryan's definitely grown on me. He's a great quarterback. Nothing I can say bad about Matt Ryan. It's time for a change, and Matt Ryan's a, a hell of a good quarterback, and he's not in prison. Winning is the most effective way to cause a change of heart and even a change of jersey. I do miss Vic, uh, but unfortunately things happen. We look forward to Matt Ryan stepping in and doing what he needs to do now. The Matt Ryan era has just begun, and yet the Falcons have already gone from chaos to contenders. Where they go from here depends a lot on the arm of the rookie quarterback. I think everybody should have high expectations when you come in, and the mark of a good quarterback is continued success and being consistent, and I've got a long way to go to get there. And it was kind of a downer at first, thinking, you know, I'm gonna be part of the rebuilding process, and I thought I'd miss the, you know, the good times, but, you know, it's come a little earlier than I expected. He's just gonna continue to grow, man. This city's gonna, you know, they're gonna love that guy because he's gonna be a great one in this league.